Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and in this session we will be talking about how we can create column chart in Power Apps. So now let's get started. So here I have opened my Power Apps and here you can see that on my page I have created the column chart like this. Now let me show you the step by step procedure for creating column chart in Power Apps. So let's get started. So first of all let me show you my data source and information for which I wanted to prepare this column chart. So basically I have this list where I have different employee information by its different types of leave. So let's say for an example the employee name is Thruvin and this is the information about his all the leaves like sick leave, paid leave, LOP and birthday leave right similar way I have leaves for other employees as well and this employee is something which is a people picker column over here and these all are number fields now let me explain you how I can prepare the chart which will show the employee information on the x-axis and on the y-axis we will be representing the different leaves that they have taken so let's get started for that thing so first of all let me take the new screen so I'm just taking one new screen over here and now you just need to go to the insert option and from insert we have a charts option so from charts we just need to select the column chart so let's place the chart so this will add this type of column chart on our screen so let's increase its width first here you can see three different controls are grouped together the first one is legend meaning here we can configure different legends for our graph second is column chart 2 so from here we can configure our chart and title is the title of the chart right now let me explain you how we can create the graph that I have shown you at the very beginning of the session so first of all we need to provide the data source for our graph so we just need to select column chart 2 so let's select that let's provide the data source for our chart so I'm just selecting on items and now here you can see that it is accepting table type and this is the sample that is added while we are adding this chart for the first time now I'm just changing this connection from my list so I just connected my leave balance list so I'm just adding that thing so it is adding this type of chart for us now let's say for an example let me just go to the advanced property and now let me just set this x and y position over here so we just need to click on advanced property let me just zoom in a little bit so we will get a better idea now here we have the labels option so basically label is something which is responsible for our x axis so from here we just need to select our employee name but here we are unable to find the employee name the reason is that employee name is something which is people picker column its type is object so basically what we need to do here is we just need to manipulate this data so uh, let's say for an example uh, if I hover over it I will be having employee information in a record format so here you can see that this is the record right now what I need to do here is I need the name in a separate column so I will just use add columns function here and after that what I'm going to do here is I just wanted to have a column employee name and employee name is something th that will be finding from this record dot employee dot display name right so I found that column and now I will be having employee name column as well so let's go to the labels and let's check and here we are we have employee name so on the x-axis employee name has been set successfully now on the series what I want to represent is I just want to represent the birthday leave paid leave then I wanted to represent LOP then I want to represent sick leave and then I want to represent birthday leave so I wanted to have four different series over here now we have set four different series here but the chart is not going to display the reason is that we need to configure number of series option over here so we just need to click on number of series and let's say let's convert it to four and here we are 
it is setting all four leaves over here plant leaf LOP sick leaf and BL all this information over here right so graph preparation is done successfully now let me talk about the different formatting option or different properties available for this particular column chart let's go one by one so first option is grid style so by default it is X only over here but let's say if we select all it will show all the axis over here like X axis and Y axis with the numbers right so this will look cool marker so let's say for each individual column chart at this moment it is showing this number over here so let's say if we turn off it will just hide the markers from our column chart then item gap so let's say for an example if I am pressing 10 pixel which means that after each individual bar it just provide 10 pixel gap over there then number of series I already explained you that if you set different types of series you basically need to provide that series over here so chart configuration properties are only two first is items labels and series only these three thing you need to provide in order to prepare this particular column chart right so number of series we discussed series axis minimum and series axis maximum so which minimum or maximum value you want to set here by default it is none so let's say I'm selecting here 0 and let's say I'm selecting here as 10 then what happened here is you can see that on the axis it said 0 to 10 right actually the value is more but it is setting 0 to 10 so let me just remove that and let's just keep that as it is now X label angle so let's say as you can see that the X label is looking like this at this moment now I just wanted to change its angle so it will be looking flat like this so this looks cool now similar with Y axis angle we can set then display mode here we have disabled and view mode so let's set that as a view mode so what happen here is whenever you click on anywhere it will not do anything to us it will just simply show the graph but if we have that in the edit mode what happened let me show you let's say I am having edit mode here so whenever I'm clicking here I am able to select this bar over here but in view mode you will not able to select the bar from here like right? so make sure about that thing so we almost discussed about all the basic property now let's go for some advanced property right so on advanced property let's say for an example uh, in design we have item color set so let's say if we want to change the color of this bar how can we change that so for that we are going to use this particular color code so let's say for an example I'm just removing these colors from here and let's provide our separate colors so you can provide that in a RGBA format over here so let's say if I do not write anything it is automatically set the colors like this for me that also looks cool now let's say I just want to provide some specific color like color dot chocolate the first color should be color dot chocolate then I just wanted to have second color is color dot aqua then let's say I just wanted to have blue violet color dot dark golden road right so that has set the color perfectly here right and based on that it also changed the legend color as well right now one more thing here we have marker suffix property so let's say for an example at this moment I am not going to represent any currency symbol over here but let's say for an example uh, here you just wanted to add currency right uh, so you just wanted to add some suffix over here so you can simply add your suffix here so let's say I am adding here dollar then what happened here is for each individual value it appends the dollar right so this is one thing that we can set now we have configured each single property of this chart over here now let me just increase the width of this chart now let me just change the legend position I just wanted to set my legend on the top left so I'm setting that and similarly we have chart title so let me just decrease its width and let me just provide the title as employee leaves right so this is how we can configure the column chart in power apps 
this is very simple and very straightforward the most important thing in order to prepare this chart is we need to have manipulated data available in form of table so let's say at this moment from this list i am directly consuming this data but sometimes what happen here is in list you have some duplicated data you need to manipulate your data first and after that you need to represent that data into graph so this is something that you can manage using different manipulation functions available in the power bi so let's say for an example in this particular example we have people picker column but our chart do not accept the people picker value then what we have done is we have used one power apps function add columns and we just prepare that column and we just have that value available but in actual real life project you also need to use some group by functions as well you just need to find out the count from your list and then you need to prepare the final collection and based on the final collection you are going to develop this report but this is the basic concept that how you can prepare this chart so if i precap everything the chart preparation process is very easy basically we wanted to have our data in a table format after that we need to configure the label and series property and then we just need to configure different formatting option for our graph and the graph will be prepared for you so this is how you can prepare the column chart in the power bi if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter also if you wish to listen different power platform related podcast from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to the podcast home page from here you can listen your favorite power platform related podcast on your favorite podcast platform like apple podcast google podcast spotify and much more Also if you wish to receive the daily notification about all my new videos on your WhatsApp just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new updates on your WhatsApp number this is Dhruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye